Hello everyone, this is your favorite collector, Sweet Wills, and welcome back to another episode of Disney Collector News. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. I have some updated information regarding to this PinkCon virtual convention that will be held by, by Pink Alamo on their website between July 13 and 18. For those of you all who did purchase the ticket, you will be guaranteed to purchase two of these bags. Yes, you heard it. They are guaranteed to purchase two of these bags. So that, that is some great information. Now, for those of you all who did not purchase the ticket, whether you knew about it or you didn't, they will, from what I was told, they will not be selling any more tickets, but do not panic, okay? For those collectors who don't have a ticket, you will have a chance to get this particular backpack. This bag here is going to be very popular. I don't know how many they're gonna have, but you treat these checkouts as if they only have 500 and you wanna be one of those folks, okay? That's all of the important information I have at this moment. If I hear anything as time goes along, I'm gonna let you all know. Understand that this convention, this online virtual convention is happening three months from now. And I'm sure we're gonna get some more updated information about it as time goes along. Now, this here is some very important news for my Danielle Nicole folks, or if you love Ariel or Moana. Danielle Nicole are releasing three items on Box Lunch website only. It will not be on her website. It will be Box Lunch only. To the left, we have the Ariel backpack. Now, there is like a satchel bag that looks similar to this. You all will need to go on Danielle Nicole Instagram page just to look at the live video that she did and it has a satchel in it. Also to the right of that, we have the third item, which is the Moana backpack. Danielle Nicole mentioned that these items, these items are very limited and once they sell out, that is it. They will not be bringing these particular items back. The only information she gave as far as the release date is that it will be released in the second week of April. So I would say keep your eyes on Box Lunch. Good luck to everyone. I know that's not the information folks would like to hear for the release date and time but that's all she mentioned so good luck to everyone when it comes to getting these particular items me myself i would like to get this particular aerial backpack and the moana bag for myself now, these pictures here come from call me obsessed there have been some rumor dolls that may be releasing i was saying the 17 inch form <laughs> i'm sorry if i'm saying it like that i don't have too many dolls yeah especially 17 inch i think i have three Two of them I really kind of don't want, but I don't want to deal with selling them. That's probably why they, I still have them. But let's talk about these dolls here. So we have Cruella, Alice, Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is more than likely Esmeralda. And we also have Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Really, really curious to see how this will turn out. To see what they're going to do with Cruella. I know a lot of folks are very, very interested in Esmeralda because we only had like one actual doll with her. She was with the Midnight Masquerade. And I'm not talking about the Disney classic ones. I'm talking about limited edition ones. Also, folks are really hoping that they put um alice in her original dress for a 17 inch i think that was cute i know the alice that they released a while ago that dress was beautiful too as far as bell is concerned i'm hearing a lot of talk about putting her in the green green outfit that she has this information here is just rumored i just want to let everybody know because i know some of my sweet willers and other collectors out there they do collect the dolls so i'm really hoping that these rumors do come true okay they will be releasing a stitch key and key pin on April the 19th. This is something I'm going to have to talk with my UK friend about, you know. <laughs> Main thing for me liking the UK releases is that they get the tags. And I, I really like the tags. It kind of sucks that we do get the boxes. I mean, I'm going to take it regardless, but I prefer getting the tags. So information for us, the United States is going to get it. More than likely, we will get it probably at a later date. So just keep your eyes open for USA releases. I'm telling you, the Harvey's Up Collection, when they released it, was sometime last month, did so well. I don't blame them for making doing a part two to this thing. So they said, our second Disney and Pixar Up Collection releases on Thursday, April the 15th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, exclusively on shophorrors.com. For the information Janelle mentioned, this is the same time that the Disneyland tickets and reservations happen as well. So this is going to be quite interesting. I know Harvey's, they usually do it on Fridays. Don't know why they chose thursday it's gonna be a little bit difficult and very tricky for those of you all who will be going for the disneyland reservations along with the shop harvest right now they only released two different items they're gonna have for the collection so far right here you see the up coin purse and also they did like a shopper's bag if they decide to release a poster tote that is something sweet wills is going after anything else i'm just gonna have to lay low and just pass on this one 
still waiting on the second drop reveal coming from Bibbidi. Now, for those of you all who do not know, this was the same company that released the Captain America bag, re-released the Captain America bag in the United States. Still no information on what it is. So I'm hoping that we get that very soon. And if you go to the right, 707 Street, they were going to reveal the next upcoming exclusive re-release bag as well. But due to certain circumstances, it will be delayed until further notice. I'm really hoping that both of these reveals come this upcoming upcoming week, maybe Thursday, especially if they decide they're going to release both of these bags on Friday. You're just going to have to wait and see. And if I see anything, you know I'm going to let you all so know. Amazon.com got some exclusive fly backpack. You see to the left, we have from the office. And to the right of that, we have Harry Potter. They even have some pins on there as well. So you all might want to go ahead and check this out. That office bag, I'm still on the fence about getting. I don't know. I might get it. I might not. I want to give you all some information on some upcoming Funko Shop releases. We have the Funko Shop exclusive Stitch and also it comes with a Chase. And this is Stitch with Record Player. So when you when you order one, you may get lucky to get the Chase or you just might get the regular one. No information on the release day. So good luck to everyone who's going after this. I'm hoping that I get the Chase and I just might get two just to take my chances. Also, we have some more Funko Shop exclusives. No information on these release dates as well. I don't know what's been going on. I know lately they've just been doing this little random this random stuff they usually let us know at the beginning hey this is being released at this time now it's just random i don't know what's going on but here to the left we have like glow in the dark funko pops and to the right we have the posters i'm really hoping to get at least one of the funko pops when they release i mean i'm gonna try to go for full but when it's time to check out hopefully i'll have one also we have some black light on soda pops we have the mad hatter chest shy alice and the queen Probably not going to go for none of these. I don't have any soda pops. Yeah, I tried to get Carol Bell, but when I went to the store, you know, with these soda pops in the store, I still not need to put this stuff behind the counter because people are actually opening them up. I don't know if they're taking them and walking around the store and popping them open and putting them back. I don't know. But good luck to everyone going for that. Also, what's currently available at Box Lunch online and in stores is this Winnie the Pooh in B costume. Also, they do have a backpack. The backpack, I'm going to say, just by looking at it, I don't really know. I don't really know if it's for me. This is something I'm actually going to have to see in person. But just by looking at the backpack with the pictures online, hmm, yeah, it's not really me. But I want to show you all this because this is what's currently available online right now. Also, listen, Gina sent me this picture. Shout out to Gina because she be doing her thing the way she do her thing. Some of y'all should already know. The first thing I ever started collecting was Disney cards. Started back in January 2014. Been collecting ever since. Even found me some cards this weekend. Yeah, I went to Walmart and Target this weekend. I did a lot of car pickups for me and a friend, my friend in the UK. I did that, but they are releasing these Crocs. Don't have the release date yet. When I get information, I'm going to let you all know. It says that the quantities are limited. And I think these jokers even light up when you walk on them. Ooh, okay. Now look at here. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Listen, the lounge fly was trying to break us. That's what it is. They're trying to break us. Hey, that's what they want. They want it. Let's see if we're going to give it to them. But look at this backpack. Oh, my goodness. Listen, the wallet and the coin purse to the right already blew us away. But the backpack and that joker got side pockets and it might have an inside zipper. And you know we got action. I said we got action if they got a zipper. <laughs> The backpack is beautiful. I'm really hoping that this joke could come out around box lunch money because I'm trying. Listen here. Sweet Wheels is trying to be good to box lunch money come around. I haven't been buying any backpack. I know if Danielle Nicole show up, I'm probably I'm not going to have time enough to wait on box lunch money, which I'm okay with that. But this here, I'm hoping my store actually get it in store or when I go into the store around box lunch money that it is available to purchase the coin purse and the wallet a lot of people have already started to buy whoo let's see if sweet wheels get lucky and get it I think I am you know I just want to use box lunch money finally I said finally we get some Earth Day key now this key here was set to release last year but you know with everything going on it never came about so it's really shocking to see. And for one, is these keys from last year or they made some more? What it is, they probably made some more since they got a couple of gazillion keys in the stores and online right now. Really excited about this. It says Earth Day collectible key available April 19. Now, folks are saying, I don't have no concrete information that this is like 
got some seeds in it so you can plant it. So I'm hoping that if you spend a certain amount of money, you get this for free. I don't want to pay $12.99 for a plant that I can just go buy already fully grown. I don't really know too much about this key. Just saw that it was available for this particular date on Shop Disney. If you know anything about this key, put it down below in the comment section. For series four of 12 of Stitch Crash Disney, for the United States, you can go on Shop Disney website. It only says right now, coming soon to Shop Disney and Disney Parks. Now, for those of you all who have a local store, we know when items are released, usually release them in store on Saturday. So even though it doesn't say the store, it doesn't hurt to call. Now, I'm not saying stalking these people. Me personally, I plan on calling Friday before they close just to see if they're actually going to have at least a plush in store. As far as the information we have, it's only showing Shop Disney and Disney Parks. As far as Shop Disney is concerned, no information on the release date. Hopefully, they will update that information on Shop Disney very soon. So if you're interested in this plush, please keep your eyes on Shop Disney or on social media. And when it comes to the UK, their collection has been delayed due to certain circumstances. So I'm hoping that their situation gets fixed really soon so they can receive this collection at least before the end of this month or maybe before the end of next month. But then again, next month is a whole nother series. So I'm not too sure how it's going to go for them. But once again, good luck to everyone in the United States. As far as my folks in the UK, hoping that you all get some updated information and things do work out before the end of this Dark month. Let's get dangerous. <laughs> you know what? I've been watching Duckwing Duck for the last few nights, I think. So I didn't know the first episode, the first season, they had like 70 some episodes on that Joker. Yeah, it's a lot of episodes and Duckwing Duck is really, really good. I got some great information from my folks that are D23 Gold members. It says our Duckwing Duck pin, a limited edition of 1500 will be available exclusively to D23 Gold members on Shop Disney at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on April 12th. 2021 will be one pin per gold member and the pin is $12.99 each just want to let my folks know if you're interested in getting this pin it's only going to be a limited amount and good luck we got some amazing merch that has been spotted at the character warehouse yes cw mean the character warehouse to the left we have the disney dogs bag that is is on sale for 150 dollars i don't know about the cats but if they do get the cats that's something i'm interested in the dog bag is cute don't get me wrong but i really like the cats and to the right of that is the cocoa bag which is so beautiful i wonder where this bag went at i was thinking it sold out because it wasn't online long at all now all of a sudden it's at the character warehouse for those of you all who are in florida got personal shoppers you might want to put this on your list but yes these two bags have been spotted at the character warehouse i know it's been a minute but bag of the week is going to this stitch shop coca-cola bag bag is well made well crafted very durable it also does come with a scrap so you can wear it as a crossbody but i think i will wear it as like a handle bag like a satchel bag myself it feels really really good love the the placement that i do have on mine i like how i got the coca-cola at the top and yeah that's the background in my room too but those of y'all who haven't seen my disney my disney collection room this is the background of my collection room okay <laughs> Now, I forgot the retail value of this bag, but I think it was $125 or $100, but I got it on sale for $37.50. I also do have the outfit that goes with it, like the Coca-Cola cherry um, skirt and the top to go with it. Not too sure whenever I'm going to wear that, but if I do wear it, I'm not going to wear it with this bag because that'll be too much Coca-Cola cherry going on. But the bag is something that you would wear with all black. It don't matter if it's a dress a top and some a pants, top and a skirt, whatever you want to wear. But I think you should wear all black with this type of bag because you don't want to have what you're wearing on to pop. You want the bag to pop. I had to give it to this particular bag. It's really nice and well made. Really like the stitch shop. I'm looking forward to what else they have coming out this year. All right, everyone. So that'll do it for my video today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And like always, if you're watching this video and you had not subscribed to my channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video. Also, hit that notification bell. Make sure you click on all so you can be notified whenever I drop a video or community post. And until next time, everyone, take care.